Hi boys and girls. Today, we are going to learn scalar and vector quantities. One Monday morning, in the kitchen. Hello! This is Mike. He brings a loaf of bread to the toaster. He is making a toast. The toaster becomes hotter and hotter. The temperature increases. Then, he brings the sandwich to the dining table. He enjoys eating his morning breakfast. Mmm. Yeah. After 30 minutes, the clock rings. It is time to school. So, Mike quickly runs outside to catch the school bus. First, the loaf of bread has 200 gram of mass. The mass has no direction. Therefore, it is a scalar quantity. Mike is moving to the right towards the toaster with his bread. This is displacement. Displacement has a direction. Therefore, it is a vector quantity. Mike is toasting the bread. The temperature of the toaster increases. The temperature has no direction. Therefore, it is a scalar quantity. Mike is carrying his sandwich towards the dining table. His force is directed upwards while holding his sandwich. The force has a direction. Therefore, it is a vector quantity. Mike enjoys eating his breakfast. The time used is 30 minutes. The time has no direction. Therefore, it is a scalar quantity. Mmm. Yeah. The clock rings. It is school time. Mike is running to the right towards the front door. The velocity of Mike has a direction. Therefore, the velocity is a vector quantity. Hello! So, here we have two types of physical quantities. The scalar and vector quantities. Scalar quantity only has magnitude. But vector quantity has both magnitude and direction. Below are the six physical quantities we learned from the kitchen. The mass, temperature, and time are scalar quantities as they only have magnitude. But the displacement, force, and velocity are vector quantities as they have both magnitude and direction. Can you think of other examples for scalar and vector quantities? Hmm. Ha ha! Other scalar quantities are energy, power, and pressure. Then, other vector quantities are momentum, impulse, and acceleration.